welcome back. Today we are going to create a DIY game making a bunny out of a tissue box and then I'm going to show you later on what the game consists of. Before you say I'm going bunny crazy, that's not the case. The only reason I'm making a bunny is because number one, they're cute, come on. And number two, it is springtime and spring reminds me of bunnies. However, you could use any animal that your child really is interested in because that's the main importance. It's what your child will be engaged in and what he or she would like to um, see while they're completing this activity. The first thing you're going to want to do is basically wrap this tissue box. I use a tissue box because it promotes fine motor because it's only a small slit. You're going to see later on in this video why I prefer the tissue box. At this point, you're just going to wrap the tissue box. I used glue in the beginning. However, I'm going to fast forward this part. You're going to see that I then transitioned into tape instead only because the tape was a lot quicker. It all depends on how much time you have. I didn't want to make this video too long where you're going to have to see me gluing each part because I didn't have wrapping paper. So I just stuck with the tape. Let's fast forward and I'm going to be right back. Okay, so the next step is to basically place the googly eyes in the front of the box. You can position them however you like. Just make sure that they're somewhat centered so that the bunny does look like a bunny towards the end. You don't want it to look awkward where your child's like, what's that? So just make sure that it, it looks and it's taking form of a bunny or whichever animal you do choose to use. Once you've completed your eyes, you can then take your pipe cleaners and basically twist them. I also did the same demonstration with my washcloth bunnies, but it's the same method. You're just going to want to twist it and make sure that it's in a form of an X, only so that it holds better once you place it on the box. You're going to then secure it with tape to make sure that it's centered. The next thing you're going to do is create your ears. Here I'm going to draw the form of a bunny ear on a white piece of paper. Underneath I have another piece of paper only so that I don't have to draw it twice and I could just pick up both sheets, place them one on top of the other and then cut around it. When you do cut, make sure that you don't cut exactly on the line only because you don't want that part to show. I did use a pencil and you can erase it. But let's avoid, you know, some time consuming things and let's go around them by basically just not cutting directly on the line, however cutting around the line. The next thing you're going to do is secure your bunny ears onto your bunny box by taping it from the back. Make sure you secure it from all angles. At this point, I'm just going to customize my bunny by adding a nose using a pom-pom ball and some glue. You can do whatever you'd like, depending on whichever animal you decide to make using your tissue box. When I said this was a DIY, I was not playing any games. It is a DIY. DIY. <laughs> I always screw that up all the time. Anyway, so what you have to do is basically use the bingo dots, do a dot, whatever they're known as in your location. In New York, I like to call them bingo dots. But we're going to take them and you're going to just open them up and place them on the flashcard. You could do it within any amount that you want. For this game, I did it from 1 to 5 only because I'm going to be using this for like the younger children. I'd like to say from 2 to 4. But you could do this, you know, in any forms. I also teach special ed, so it's important that I don't overwhelm them with too many numbers at once. Then you're going to also use clothespins. And that's where the fine motor really comes in. What you're going to enforce to your child is that they need to pick up a card, count how many dots are on the card, then figure out the color, use the clothespin to then form a pincher grasp, pick it up, and place it into the tissue box. This activity covers so many different techniques for your child, it's ridiculous. There's color recognition, counting, grasping, I mean... It's really endless. You can then have your child play this game with a peer. And let me tell you, you're then going to establish turn taking. And that's also great for children because a lot of children have a hard time with sharing or turn taking. I also recommend if you're going to do a turn taking activity, only use one clothespin and have your child pass it over to their peer. It's just a great activity. You can then 
place all the pom-poms inside the tissue box. What's better than easy storage? Come on. I couldn't make this easier for you guys. And that's all you have to do. Store it, put it away, take it out when, when you think that your child wants to play a game or just on those, you know, days where it's raining outside and you need something to do to pass time. It's such a gr great learning activity as well as a fun activity. This is something you could do at home in under 10 minutes. I would definitely recommend it. If you decide to do it with your child, please leave me a comment below or let me know what you think about this idea. Okay guys, until next time, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw.